वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू थ्रो लाइट ऑन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ सीड प्लांट्स द सीड प्लांट्स आर सीड प्रोड्यूसिंग प्लांट्स एंड दीज आल्सो प्रोड्यूस फ्लावर्स दे आर बाय प्रोवाइडिंग ऑर्नामेंट्स टू द अर्थ विदाउट फ्लावर्स द अर्थ वुड हैव बीन अ डेजोलेट प्लेस द सीड प्लांट्स कॉन्स्टिट्यूट अबाउट एटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ द प्लांट किंगडम एंड फॉर्म द मोस्ट कॉन्स्पिकस पार्ट ऑफ द अर्थस वेजिटेशन दे प्रोवाइड फूड फॉर ह्यूमन बींग्स एनिमल्स एंड अदर नॉन ग्रीन प्लांट्स ऑन दिस प्लेनेट डायरेक्टली और इनडायरेक्टली इन एडिशन दे ऑल्सो प्रोवाइड टिम्बर पेपर फाइबर एंड मेडिसन टू मैन दे हैव अडेप्टड टू डाइवर्स इकोलॉजिकल कंडीशन एंड हैव इवॉल्व सक्सेसफुली ऑन द फेस ऑफ अर्थ विद डिफरेंट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स दे रेंज फ्रॉम द स्मॉलेस्ट प्लांट वुल्फिया टू वेरी लार्ज ट्रीज ऑफ द वर्ल्ड सिक्योर रेडवुड दे लिव इन वाटर ऑन लैंड एंड इन द एयर they include herbs shrubs trees climbers and lianas majority of them are autotrophs that is they are green due to presence of chlorophyll and manufacture their own food but some live as parasites saprophytes and insectivorous plants now characteristics of seed plants seed plants are also known as spermatophyta or phanerogams or embryophytes or siphonogams or tracheophytes seed plants which are almost green have changed the earth in two major ways number 1 fixation of carbon dioxide number 2 release of molecular oxygen these two phenomena altered the earth's atmosphere over billions of years spermatophytes constitute a group of plants which produce seeds a seed is defined as a mature ovule with embryo a seed can be defined as a miniature plant telescoped in a box and provided with lunch seed plants stand highest in the rank of evolution and form the most conspicuous part of the earth's vegetation they include about 3 lakh plant species and constitute the largest division of the plant kingdom seed plants are of two types number 1 angiosperms and number 2 gymnosperms in angiosperms in this group the seeds are covered that is they are produced within the oviva angios means vessels and sperma means seeds now gymnosperms in this case the seeds are naked gymnos means naked and sperma means seeds angiosperms commonly considered the modern seed plants geologically young but structurally they do not appear to be of recent origin evidences show that angiosperms are an old group angiosperms in their dominance have not however crowded the gymnosperms from the face of the earth a large areas of conifer forests exist in tropics and temperate lands and cycads are dominant in small areas of australia and africa since they produce seeds by which they are able to tide over unfavorable periods and disperse the species the seed plants show perfect adaptation to land habitats seed plants are dominant and exceed in number when compared with all other lower plants together seed plants show remarkable diversity in growth form morphology and physiology now we will discuss morphology of 
seed plants. Plant body is a sporophyte which is dominant and is differentiated into stems, roots and leaves. Roots are well developed with mostly tap root system. Some roots are associated with some fungi and algae. Seed plants include herbs, shrubs and trees. Herbaceous forms are absent in gymnosworms. Seed plants include the tallest tree, for example, redwood, sequoia, which is 366 feet high. Australian Eucalyptus erignans, 333 feet high, and the smallest plant, Wolfia species. Seed plants include annuals, biennials, and perennials. Herbs greatly outnumber the woody plants in genera and species. Almost all of them are autotrophs, that is, they manufacture their food material from carbon dioxide and water by their green coloring matter called chlorophyll in presence of sunlight. However, some angiosperms are parasites, for example, species of cascuta, orobranch, and rafflesia. These plants lack the chlorophyll, hence live as total parasites on other plants. Some plants like species of viscum, euphrasia and stega have retained the chlorophyll but depend on host plants for water and minerals. They being green live as partial parasites. In gymnosperms, one conifer named Podocarpus ustas has been found as a parasite in New Caledonia on a species of Decridium, a member of Podocarpaceae. It may regularly be a root parasite and if so, is a unique gymnosperm. Some seed plants live as saprophytes, for example, monotropa species. Seed plants which are trees may be deciduous or evergreen. Seed plants live as hydrophytes, mesophytes and xerophytes, but gymnosperms are mostly xerophytes. Leaves of conifers at high altitude of arctic regions are remarkably resistant to frost damage. For example, Tissue water in species of Pinus and Pseudosuga can withstand cooling temperature to minus 40 degrees centigrade without the formation of ice crystals. Some seed plants have learned to live successfully on seashores, that is, in marine water. They are called as halophytes, for example, species of Rhizophora and Avicennia. Some angiosperms live on the trunks of other plants only for support. They are called as epiphytes. They are autotrophs, but epipogium species and epiphyte lacks chlorophyll and derives its nutrition from a highly developed mycorrhiza, that is, it lives as a parasite. Sporophytic generation of these plants is the dominant phase of life cycle and is independent. Gametophytic stage is highly reduced and dependent on sporophyte. Leaves show great variation in response to environment. In gymnosperms, lamina is reduced to needles, but in angiosperms, they are of diverse types depending on the response to environment. Seed plants show great variation in their habitats. They may be creepers, for example, oxalis species, twiners, for example, convolvulus species, climbers, for example, species of whitus and cucurbita. Some seed plants have learned to live successfully in extreme dry conditions. They germinate grow, reproduce, 
in a very short rainy season. They are called as ephemeral plants. For example, Argimon mexicana and Tribulus terrestris. Now, we will discuss anatomy of seed plants. All seed plants have a well developed tissue system. Vascular tissues called xylem and phloem are present in all seed plants. Xylem gives mechanical support to the plants and conducts water and minerals, while as phloem is meant for the translocation of organic food. On the basis of the presence of vascular tissues, they are also called as tracheophytes. In xylem, vessels are present in angiosperms but are lacking in gymnosperms. In phloem, companion cells are present in angiosperms but are lacking in gymnosperms. Secondary growth takes place by the activity of cambium in gymnosperms but among angiosperms only in dicots. Leaves have midribs and veins having vascular tissue but veins are absent in gymnosperms. In a state, they possess transfusion tissue. Outside the epidermis of stems and leaves, cuticle is present which is thin in angiosperms but very thick in gymnosperms. Now we will throw light on reproduction of seed plants. It is of heterosporous type. Reproductive part is the flower. They are highly advanced in angiosperms where they are the most remarkable feature distinguishing them from the other seed plants for example, gymnosperms where they are highly reduced. They aid angiosperms by enabling a wider range of adaptability and broadening the ecological niches open to them. This has allowed flowering plants to largely dominate terrestrial ecosystem. Male reproductive part is the stamen. It has two pairs of pollen sacs which are much lighter in angiosperms than in gymnosperms. They have contributed to the diversification of angiosperms through time with adaptation to specialized pollination syndromes such as particular pollinator. Stamines have modified through time to prevent self-fertilization which has permitted further diversification allowing angiosperms eventually to fill more niches. Male gametophyte is called as pollen grain. It is significantly reduced in size in angiosperms as compared to gymnosperms. It reduces the time for pollination resulting in foster fertilization and seed formation which has distinct evolutionary advantage. In gymnosperms, pollen grains are heavier with wings and fertilization takes place up to one year after pollination. With the appearance of flower in angiosperms, the efficiency of pollination was markedly increased. The adaptation to land was essentially complete with the flowering plants. Gametophytic stage is highly reduced and dependent on sporophyte. Female reproductive part is called as carpal. The ovule is enclosed in a covering called auri, which has a style and stigma. In gymnosperms, only ovule is present. The enclosed auri in angiosperms allows adaptation to specialized pollination syndrome. It helps to prevent self fertilization thereby maintaining increased diversity. Female gametophyte is the embryo sac. Pollination is brought about by winds, birds, insects, animals and water. But in gymnosperms only wind pollination occurs. 
seed plants have done away with the need of external water at the time of fertilization. That is, there is total absence of motile male gametes. Pollen grains are deposited on the tip of the carpal called stigma in angiosperms, but they are deposited on ovule in gymnosperms. Male gametes lack specialized means of locomotion and germinate to form a tube called pollen tube through which it reaches the female gamete. It is called siphonogamy and these plants are called as siphonogamous plants. Fertilization takes place inside the ovule by fusion of male and female gametes to produce zygote which develops into embryo, a partly developed sporophyte. These plants are called as embryophytes. Seed plants are the most successful of all the land plants in no small major because they gained considerable advantage by having the young sporophyte retained, protected and supplied with food. All seed plants produce a nutritive tissue called endosperm. In angiosperms, this is triploid 3N in nature because of the union of one male gamete with two polar nuclei in embryo sac at the time of fertilization. This phenomenon is called as double fertilization, a unique feature of angiosperms only. In gymnosperms, Endosperm is developed from haploid N megaspore. Endosperm provides nutrition for developing embryo and the seed at the time of germination. After the formation of the embryo and endosperm, the integuments of the ovule form the covering of seed called testa and tegmin. In angiosperms, the seeds are also covered by the wall of the ovary which forms the fruit. This ovary covering is absent in gymnosperms. Dear students, this is all about characteristics of seed plants. Thank you very much.